Welcome back, everyone. Well, batteries for our phones, our cars, even the electric grid rely on lithium. The metal makes it possible to get power from renewable sources of energy instead of burning fossil fuels. But lithium is mostly produced outside of the United States, and production can be inefficient and harmful to the environment. But an Austin tech company wants to change that. The KVU Defenders went inside their operation. Here's investigative reporter Erica Proffer. All right, ready? If you spend much time talking with Teague Egan. These are your safety goggles. It can sound like a different language. This is called electrodialysis membrane separation, monomers, nanomaterials, or covalent organic frameworks. At least graphene. A science lesson. So you have an anode and a cathode on either side of the stack. He's not a chemical engineer, but a technology entrepreneur. I had to learn it all. I learned everything. He built a team of scientists and engineers to figure out how to best refine lithium. That's one of the first elements you see on the periodic table. It's the first metal. And it's the stuff inside the battery of your cell phone, computer, and most electric vehicles. Lithium is arguably the most important component of the battery. Teak's company, Energy X, doesn't produce lithium. They're a middleman. They refine it so another company can make the batteries. Batteries like the ones here helping to power the Austin energy grid. The existing methods of lithium production are really inefficient right now. Lithium is mainly found in brine, very salty water. Producers in South America store brine in giant ponds. Some environmental groups say it harms the environment, partly because extraction and refining the lithium used in batteries traditionally isn't efficient and leaves behind damaging waste. This is inside an Energy X pilot plant. Teague wants to change that wants to refine it all. This is the real technology right here. Get the brine. Let me see if there's actually membranes operating. Separate out the lithium. There is. On location, Energy X ships these trailers to lithium mining sites. We increase it both efficiency and throughput. Andrew Molinax built the first one by hand. In 20 days, in like 100 degrees. Right now, these trailers complement the brine ponds in South America. That's where most lithium is produced. But the duo says it may help the United States. We have the availability to now process or automate an entire global plant. The U.S. relies on other countries to get lithium. It concerns the U.S. government. Both former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden list lithium among the minerals critical to our nation's security, call for ways to produce more of it domestically. That's not all. The Department of Energy's lithium battery blueprint shows how lithium will play a big role in our power grid. The authors wrote lithium would benefit the electricity grid by serving remote communities, increasing resilience, and supporting critical services like health care. The Texas Public Utility Commission wants to know how companies can use home backup batteries to help the state during periods of high energy demand. Wind and solar are the majority of new power generation in Texas. Windmills and solar farms can store energy in batteries for when the sun is down and winds calm. Energy is changing and batteries are a big part of the energy transitions. What happens inside this Austin plant, how they make refining lithium more efficient abroad, may eventually help our needs here at home too. Something I wanted to be a part of to have a big impact on the world. In Austin for the KB Defenders, I'm Erica Proffer.